Hey, it's Greg, and I have a decision to make. Okay, so just as you saw, um, I have a pretty large amount of Integrity dolls um, that I need to unbox. Um, I did not go on a shopping spree like it may seem. Um, I have, let's see. I can actually show, so you'll kind of know the video is coming up. But I have my two dolls from the Upgrade dolls this year. So I have those two. Then I still have my other curated event doll. If you want to see the first curated event doll unboxing, um, she's right back here. She was a video from last week. So if it's not linked, you should be able to just see like one video back. Um, and then I also have a doll that I've been waiting to open for a very, very, very long time. Um, but I kind of want to save her almost like a finale, if that makes sense. Like, I want to save her for later because I've been so excited about her. And by the way, that is uh, a Rococo doll from the Meteor collection. Um, I have another doll from that collection right here, Amira. But yeah, so wait, this is Poppy. Okay, anyway, I have multiple dolls I need to work through. But today, I think I am going to choose... I am going to go with this one here. Okay, so the doll I have decided to open, which you can already tell by the thumbnail, I guess. Well, thumbnail by the title of this video. Thumbnail as well. But it's Billion Dollar Beauty Alejandra Luna. So I actually would love to talk a little bit about this doll before we open her up. First off, I have not even seen this doll in person yet. Um, I just got her out of the main box that she shipped in. This doll shipped while I was traveling this summer. And so I haven't been able to see her till now, which I still technically don't even see her yet. But she is some a doll I was very excited for. She was one of the upgrade dolls this year. There was three we were able to choose from as a W Club member with Integrity Toys. Um, and in case you don't know what that is, I believe it's a $50 membership. Um, you pay, I believe it's in March and you get exclusive doll offers, stuff like that. You get to be part of the W Club and they have forms and everything. It's also how I was able to get tickets to the curated event earlier this year. Um, but anyway, they have three dolls they offer as soon as you upgrade that you can buy. And this doll, Alejandra Luna, I was very excited for because before this year, I've never been an Integrity Toys W Club member, uh, but I did have one Integrity Toys doll, which was this Vanessa that I have right here, which I reviewed last year in Halloween. So that's a pretty cool review. It's also the first time I ever opened an Integrity doll myself. Um, and I also have, well, actually no, Trixie. I definitely opened her first, didn't I? So technically Trixie was my first w, uh, Integrity Toys doll. Anyways, I'm getting so off subject. I was a long time fan of Integrity without actually participating in collecting or buying the dolls because they were so expensive and I couldn't afford them at the time. And as soon as they announced Alejandra Luna, she's one of the newer face molds. Um, she only has two other dolls before this doll came out. I thought she was so insanely beautiful. I really loved Alejandra Luna. Her original version is Billion Dollar Babe, I believe, or Billion Dollar Batty. I can't remember which one it was. Um, I'll put a picture of it over here. But that was her like um, release look, I guess. I'm sure there's a technical term for it and it's slipping my mind at the moment. Premiere look maybe, I'm not sure. But that was her original look. And then she came out in a second look, um, well, a second doll, which was part of a convention. I forget which one, it was an online convention um, obsession, I believe. And it was Alejandra Luna Varsity. And she's in like this cool baseball look. Again, I'll put a photo of that up. And I think that one's really cool too. Honestly, it'd be a dream to get my hands on both of them. But one of the things that really pushed me to join this year is actually this doll here, because this doll is a recolor of the original Alejandra Luna. So when I saw that they were doing like recolors as, recolors, I don't know why I'm using that term. I'm too much of a gamer. Um, when I saw that, what is it, moments is what they're calling them which is just like the same doll, but like the color scheme switched up a bit or maybe a pattern switched up, something like that. I was so excited because Alejandra Luna is a kind of a newer release doll. Like the Integrity Toys lines, they have so many like 
face molds and characters and stuff to choose from. And Alejandra Luna is a pretty new one. So I was surprised that she was chosen to be one of the ones they did, but I was very happy for selfish reasons. But again, I've been a fan of uh, Alejandra as an outside viewer. So here we have the new face box, because she is a new face doll, and the new face upgrade doll, obviously. But I've been a long time outside fan, but I've never actually seen Alejandra Luna in person. So this doll, I've been really excited uh, to get my hands on and to see. So, removing all the tissue paper. And right off the bat, we have new face right here, new face here. And then this is also the same like type of material that was of the curated box, which I believe is called cardstock. I could be wrong, but it's like a thicker than paper, thinner than cardboard is how I explained it last time. It's not great, honestly, but it does make shipping cost uh, cheap uh, less. And I'm an out of box uh, collector, so I'm not too worried about it. I am worried about running out of space, but um, I'm not like that upset about it. But I know it, a lot of people um, prefer the older style box and I understand why, because the old box just feel, the older boxes feel really nice. Um, so we have up here, it says limited edition in like silver. Down at the bottom, it says one six fashion scale, well, fashion doll. One six scale fashion doll. Uh, yeah. And then on the back, we just have like the warnings and stuff like that and integrity toys blurb. So I'm going to move this little slip. Okay, it's not moving as easy. I might have to actually undo it. Oh, cause it actually goes into the box right there. So I thought I'd be able to just slide it off. That's what I did with the Meteor Doll Mira. Um, she had something similar to this and I was able to just slide it off. But for this doll, I cannot, so. Okay, so here comes the moment. I'm so excited, kind of nervous, but like mainly excited because I can't imagine I'd be disappointed. But still, this is my first time seeing this face mold in person ever. And again, as an outside fan, I've looked at a lot of the face molds and I've decided this was my absolute favorite. So let's see if it stands in person. So, oh, that was a horrible sound on the chair. Let's go ahead and release Alejandra. So I'm gonna place that there. Wow. Loving the silver, all that long hair. Then we have her hat and like her um, boa. Just wanna take a second to look at her. Wow. She's amazing. She is so beautiful. I'm so excited. I actually think I like her even more than I thought I would. Again, I was a little nervous just because I was like, what if I've been hyping up Alejandra in my head so much and then in person I'm not as much of a fan, but no, I'm in love. Also, maybe it's just because I'm in like a Halloween mood and a very nostalgic mood. Um, I feel like if I had the right outfit, she could be a real, pull off a really cool like modern Daphne look with the color of her hair. But anyway, wow, wow, wow. Um, let's start by taking out her little accessories box, which is right here. I just ripped the box. I need to be more careful. Yes, yeah, so I just ripped the inside of the box. Again, I'm not an inbox collector, so it's not the end of the world, but it's too bad that I ripped the box. Um, opening up her accessories. This feels so full. Okay, we have grip hands right here. That's what fell out. And then we have some earrings and a ring. We have her purse. I believe these are her knee-high socks. I think they're knee-highs or like mid-calf. I can't remember. Um, her shoes with like the little studs on the back. Then her gloved hands. And then we have her glasses and her special new, new face necklace. So I'll put all that back there. And then show off her hat in bag. The little kind of, I don't know the name of this style of hat, but it's the hat. And I think you're supposed to pin it in. Yeah, it comes with some pins. And then we have her little boa. I have everything just sticking to me, making a mess. And then again, here is Alejandra just sitting in the box. She is so beautiful. Do you see how long this hair is? 
That's insane. That is so cool. So I'm now gonna unbox her off screen because again, Integrity Toys dolls are so complicated to unbox for me at least. Maybe one day I'll figure it out how to do it on camera, but I, that's not gonna be today. There's no way. So I'm gonna unbox her and throw on some accessories and then we can actually look at her up close. Okay, I'm back from unboxing and that was such an experience. I had so many complications. One day I really do want to get like where I can um, like video the unboxing. I know I've said that so many times. I'm just repeating myself at this point, but I do want to get to that point, but I'm glad I did not try it with this doll because wow, the complications. But before we get into this beautiful doll, which you can already see here, there is something I wanted to go over and that is her certificate of authenticity. She actually is numbered. So I have number 2,749 out of 2,971. So I got a pretty far number. I don't really care about the numbers, but I love seeing, like, I don't care which number I get, I guess is what I'm saying, but I do love getting the certificate and knowing which number um, my doll is. I don't know, it just like makes this one more unique, more special to me. Like this is 2,749 Alejandra Lunas and she's mine. So I don't know, that's really cool. Um, also, I had a whole moment um, while unboxing her. Let's, you know what, let's just show off the doll first. Um, for starters, I'm obsessed, oh wait, her necklace, which we'll get into that in a second, but how stunning and beautiful is this doll? Like, fully obsessed, like the inches on this hair. She is so beautiful and her glasses are right here, but I have on her gloved hands. Um, she is wearing her ring on this hand. She's got her feather boa, her purse, her hat's on, her earrings are in, and her necklace. The only reason her glasses do work as glasses, but to put them on, because of the way her hairstyle is done, I'd have to push the hair so it can get behind the ear, and I don't wanna mess up the hairstyle, so I just stuck them here for now. But yeah, so this is Alejandro. So now let's get into the things. First off, remember in the beginning I said, oh, I feel like she could pull off Daphne. Um, again, I still feel that way, but I realized something else. So I don't know if um, anybody watching this video watches the show Elite on Netflix. It's like a Spanish high school drama. Imagine like Degrassi and Euphoria kind of mixed together. I don't know, maybe it's just Spanish's version of Euphoria. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the show. I like it. Me and Danny watch it together all the time. Uh, but she looks exactly like a character that they just introduced in the newest season. Like even if you don't watch the show, just Google Elite and then Chloe. She literally looks like Chloe from Elite, like hair color, the face, everything. I was shocked. Actually, I'll just put up a photo like somewhere around here somewhere um, if I can find a good photo, but we can do a side by side real quick. Like, I feel like she definitely favors Chloe. Again, Chloe's a newer character, so I don't think this doll is like modeled after her or anything like that. But still, I thought that was really cool. And it gives this doll some more personality to me. So now let's start getting into the details. First off, getting this doll accessorized and dressed was so complicated. For starters, the pins in her head, the pin, her head is so hard, getting the pins in felt impossible. I literally used the base of her stand to like hammer it into her head because I could not like push it with my fingers. My fingers are so sore from trying to push in the really small needles. Um, I got it in, it's in there. It's not going anywhere, like the pins are in, but I had so much difficulty. Um, and then another thing, what was it? Um, the necklace. The necklace is very, very, very difficult. It's like a little hook. I'll see if I can even show it. No, you're not gonna be able to see it with her dress, but it's like a tiny little hook and you have to like loop it. It was really complicated. Uh, but now let's go over the doll now that we have like the not even the negatives, just like my difficulties. But now let's get into the doll. I have her specs right here, which I'm gonna share with you. Um, head sculpt is Alejandra. Her body type is New Face 3.0. Her foot sculpt is high heeled. Her skin tone is FR white. Her hair is pale crimson and her eyelashes are hand applied. Okay, so now let's get into the doll. She is very beautiful. She has like these pale green eyes and what color is her eyeshadow? Okay, yeah, it's kind of like a very light bronzy color. It's showing up pretty 
true to um, the color showing up here is how it looks in person. Then she has these pale pink lips. I probably should flip the camera so that like it's not focusing on me, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm really comfortable, so we're just gonna do it this way. Um, then she has this purple feather. Uh, I don't know, is it a boa? I guess it'd be a boa. And it's kind of cool, like you can do it down here. It looks really nice. I liked it up on the shoulder. That's where they had it in some of her, um, like the photos showing off the doll. Then she has these gloves. They're just black painted um, at the wrist. That's it. Like wrist gloves, fingerless wrist gloves. Um, and then her... Her manicure, it's like a very light pink, long nails, very beautiful. Um, then she has her mid cap, like black nylon socks. And she has these shoes that are insane. They have spikes on the back, black, really skinny stilettos. And then each have a strip with spikes on the front. Her new face base. It's just simple white acrylic base that says new face. Um, the sand, the stand is a saddle stand. I'm gonna take her off of it now because it's making it more complicated to show. And now I wanna just show off her actual outfit. I'm gonna take her shoes off because they are just stabbing me. But her outfit is really nice. It's this, it looks like it could be multiple pieces, but it's all one piece that um, like hook and clasp in the back. And it's just silver sequin, and then it has a piece that's made to look kind of like a corset in the middle, which is really cool. It like really like, I don't know, gives the like a cinched look in the middle, and then it goes down to more of that silver sequins. Um, it's really nice. Her hair does get stuck on it, and so do the feathers. Like you can see it here, like the feathers get okay. It's working perfectly now. It just wants me to look crazy, but the feathers do get stuck on it. Um, but again, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, her earrings are just little dollar signs. I think that's cute. I don't love the earrings. It's probably my least favorite part of the entire outfit. Like I think just like some nice, I don't know, studs or something would have been really nice, but I've gained quite a bit of earrings so I could change them out if I wanted to. But I feel like, I don't know, just like the dollar sign, it's just not my thing, but it's cool. I guess it goes with the billion dollar kind of motif billion dollar name that she has it goes with that but she's just a recolor of the original uh alejandra but she is so 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 beautiful um my dream is to still get all the alejandras honestly like this just enforced that i still love to have the original alejandra which is the deeper skin tone with the gold sequin but even more than that i'd love to get varsity alejandra because she's even like more different than this one so I'm definitely still a big Alejandra Luna fan. Um, I'm really happy to say that like that, that does not look good, that this doll just made that stronger. So it's a really cool thing. And she just looks so cool. I don't know. I was um, thinking like I'd already started looking around, shopping around on Etsy um, for a new outfit for Alejandra. Like I like this outfit. It's cool. But I was like, mm, I kind of see her in something else. But I hadn't bought anything yet. I was just like prepared because I knew I was getting this doll and like when you have downtime when traveling, it's like, you know, why not do some extra doll accessory shopping? So I had found like a couple outfits that I really liked and that I'd saved on Etsy for Alejandra um, in case I did want to uh, actually change her outfit. But honestly, I'm kind of in love with this at least for now. And I'll still probably get those outfits because um, they'll work for somebody. But this for right now just makes me really happy. I love the hat, the feathers, the dress with the silver, and also how it reflects in this lighting is really cool with the kind of like lights going around the room. But yeah, I guess that's Alejandra Luna Billion Dollar Beauty. Yeah, Billion Dollar Beauty Alejandra Luna. I think she is so beautiful, so amazing. She lived up to the hype I built for her inside my head, which is really exciting because I know it's a really common thing to like build up excitement for something in your head. And then when you get it, it's just not at that level, which is what I was afraid of, but no. I think I can now say 
I believe Alejandra Luna is my favorite face sculpt from Integrity Toys, at the moment at least. I still love a lot of other face sculpts, like for example, Amira. I'm kind of obsessed with her face sculpt. I love Vanessa's Aaron's face sculpt. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of people are a fan of Aaron's face sculpt. Very beautiful. But I do think Alejandra is my favorite face sculpt right now. So yeah, I guess that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, again, I still think I'm finding my rhythm with getting back and recording and also finding kind of like my rhythm with integrity toys. Um, I feel like I really got into a good place. Like I know how I like to do Rainbow High videos, but I'm still kind of learning it with um, integrity toys because it's just like a, I don't know, they're more deluxe, but also there's, I feel like there's less to show. There's one outfit and everything. Um, and I don't do a hair washing because they have styled hair that's meant to be the way they are unboxed. Oh wait, I didn't even show her second hands. Let me show those real quick. Uh, these are the hands she came with. Same color manicure as the gloved hands. And then she has a second pair of clasped hands. That's about it. It's not like anything huge. It's just the same skin tone with the same colored manicures and gripped and like that. But yeah, I'm really enjoying having growing my Integrity Toys collection. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna display them. Like I have this little platform and it works for now but I don't know that it's going to work forever. But I don't even have like um, a full display. They're just kind of like on this shelf and it works for now. But like you guys saw, like I have it right here. I have three more Integrity dolls to open and unbox. And then I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Natalia Fatal, um, the bombshell beach one that I redressed into a robe. I still have her, but I took her down and I've actually reboxed her just because I was like, I don't really have room, I don't think. Because I want to display the new ones, obviously. But I don't even know, like, how many is that going to be? Five plus four, nine dolls. I don't even know if nine integrity dolls are going to fit there. So I've got to figure something out. And then back here, I'll have this other space for a shelf again. That's coming like late, late this year, but I want to use just Rainbow High there. Like I want that to be solely Rainbow High. They're my main collection and all that. So I want that just for Rainbow High. So this is kind of all the space I have for integrity right now. Maybe I'll get like some type of like stair, not staircase. What do you call those things? Like display levels. I can't think of the word for it off the top of my head, but like the clear acrylic stands risers, I guess. Yeah, I think that's it maybe some risers or something, but I don't want it to overtake the desk either because I need like working space. So I'll have to figure it out as time goes, but that's not a problem yet. It will be soon, but not yet. Uh, for now, I just want to say, I absolutely love this Alejandra Luna doll. Um, I know she's definitely like marked up in price now because she was um, a W Club exclusive for like signing up for this year. Um, so her prices have definitely increased a lot. I believe, I can probably, no, I can actually tell you exactly how much I've paid for Alejandra. Okay, so they were 160 each. So she was $160, but I paid a deposit $30 when I first got my membership, I believe. Yeah, 160 plus shipping is what they say, so... Yeah, and I paid 130 because I already paid 30 as the down deposit. So yeah, she was 160, and I know a lot of people mark up prices on these dolls once they're released. But if you were on the fence on about her and you have the money for her, I can definitely say I'm a fan. But then again, she's my favorite face sculpt at the moment, so like I have extra like personal thing with it. But yeah, she's beautiful. Again, I don't really. I feel it's weird recommending it dolls due to their pricing. Like, they are very, very expensive dolls. Like, for the price of this doll, how many Rainbow High dolls would that be? A lot. Hard to say because Rainbow High dolls have such a varying prices, so it depends on which ones you're doing. But anyway, I'm getting so off track. Um, I'm really happy to have her in my collection. I really love her. And I am, like, kind of want to see if I can get the other Alejandras. It would be a long-term goal. But anyway... I think we are all done here. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys all did as well. I'll definitely be posting some photos of her on Instagram. I'm so excited to, photo to photograph her. And yeah, I guess that's about 
it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Oh, wait. And my Instagram will be tagged down below. His.dolls on Instagram. That's where I was going with the photos. And pictures of the rest of my collection. So now I'm done. I'm slowly getting used to this again. Sorry. But that is it. I really enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.